This is Hidden Killers Week in Review. A look back at the most prolific stories of the week. This is the Hidden Killers Podcast with Tony Bruski. Featuring former FBI Special Agent and Chief of the Counterintelligence Behavioral Analysis Program, Robin Dreek. A cover-up doesn't also always mean either they're covering up uh, a cop or somebody or somebody that's connected to government that was involved in Odinism. I think that that is what we think about quite often when we're talking about like conspiracy theory, but a cover-up could just simply be, shit, we should have gone down that road, but we didn't. Um, let's make it look like we did or, or something. And I, I feel like it's more of a cover-up for just lackadaisal behavior, lackadaisal uh, investigative work than it is, I don't know, anything else, but we'll find out more. And I think you're right on that. No, what generally happens, and this is nature of human beings, and that is when we are so insecure about our our actions, our beliefs, our thoughts and opinions, we tend to try to share white lies. We try to obscure it. In other words, our, when our insecurities flare up, we don't own our behavior. When yeah. something goes amiss and awry, the things that we're looking for from people that do a little misstep that – that builds trust, and we've said it numerous times, is that we're looking for open, honest communication, transparency, and vulnerability. What that looks like when law enforcement does this or an investigation does this is, as Jocko Link and Leif Babin say in Extreme Ownership, is you own it. You say, listen, you're right. Boo-boo here. Fix it like this. Mm-hmm. Yes. All right. Good point out. We did this, and we fix it like this. And so when you take a corrective action and someone's showing some transparency for their awareness of, hey, no one's perfect because no one's looking for perfection. They're looking mm-hmm. for that kind of transparency, that openness, so that you can keep moving forward. But when you keep cascading lack of transparency, lack of openness atop, on top, on top of all the previous behaviors, that's what erodes that trust. And this is what they keep doing. Yeah, without a doubt. Uh, let's talk about the uh, this key thing that that everyone is talking about, the the interviews, the uh, like 70 plus hours of, of interviews that were just lost uh, because their DVR system was messed up in 2017. The chief investigator of uh, Carroll County prosecutor, uh, Steve Mullen, testified that the video recordings uh, of key interviews conducted in the early days of 2017 inadvertently erased. Um it, it, it's I guess it, it doesn't look as suspicious because it's not like just certain interviews were gone. It was like a week of content just gone. Um, I shouldn't say like content, a week of evidence gone. <laughs> so I'm right. used to doing this content because uh, that's what I look at everything as. Um, do you think it was something simple? Do, do, I mean, this I mean, in reality, yeah, it's a high profile case, but, you know, it doesn't make every single decision that one makes that they're thinking of it in that, that context of there's a lot of people that are going to be on this, or if they're just not, you know, knowledgeable on how to program the DVR, um, things like this can happen. Um, do you think this was just a, a true accident that somebody, you know, they're just not tech savvy, something happened here. Um, or was there a purpose to getting rid of uh, all of this tape and all of this audio and all these interviews that I don't see any reason why that would benefit anybody in this. It almost doesn't matter, does it? No. Because regardless, it's showing a lack of ability to really do a good job. Yeah. Whether by intent or by mistake, it's still showing they're not doing their job properly, Mm -hmm. which erodes that trust. And so either way, the result is, you know, Alan's getting, (laughs) he's getting the only microscope is on him Mm -hmm. because Everyone else just vaporized. I mean, it yeah. just, it's just, you know, whether it's, it, whether they were legitimate other suspects or theories out there on these, you know, children or not, we don't know. And we'll never know because either by intent or mistake, it was all gone. Yeah. You know, and, and so they, no one can even refute it or take a look at it to say, so even, so if Alan gets off or he's convicted, no one can go back and say, hey, there's these other theories out there. Um, it, it just is well, a dumb thing. And, and how tone deaf of a statement is it to make that that the prosecution is making and saying, uh, look, yeah, we lost all this, but there was nothing to it. Oh, well, who did you all talk to? Oh, we didn't have a list of that either. So how can you 
<laughs> How can you say there's nothing to it if you don't even know who you talked to? I mean, it, it, it just, and it's, it's not up to and it's not no. up to you whether to say there's nothing to it. No, you know, it, 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 it's it's like a lot of people need to look at that. It, it, it's it's just it's baffling to me. Like a statement like that would even be made that that one would put that out there into the ether, and then think, oh, everybody will accept that. that. If I say it's nothing, it's nothing. Like th- that's <laughs> then, then believe Richard Allen when he says I wasn't there, I didn't do anything. Or he, so, he, so he even said I was this, so, there. <laughs> so play that. So play that um, statement forward. So yeah. there's nothing there. There's nothing to that. Alan gets acquitted, and now you have the families of two girls that were murdered saying, yep. "Well, what what was that? It was someone else." Yeah. So, and it, and it's now gone. So now do you have lawsuits that can be filed against them for mis for losing potential suspects if Alan's acquitted? I mean, I don't know because I don't know the legal system that well, but it certainly looked like some massive backlash yeah. in that kind of case. And, and that's kind of what I wonder if a lot of this comes down to it. I mean, we're, we're talking about a very small environment here. We're talking about the, the prosecutor's office in Delphi. We're talking about a fairly small police force. We're talking about, you know, just a, a very small ecosystem that works within itself. Mm-hmm. And at the end of the day, if they knew that they essentially had clerical screw ups along the way where the DVR didn't work right uh, they didn't question this person. They they didn't look at this or that. And at the end of the day, like, shit, we could have like a really big lawsuit on our hands. So we better go after somebody. I'm wondering how much of this is an attempt to save face and not get sued. And they thought, well, we can just kind of push this along and nobody raises an eyebrow to it. Obviously, everybody's raised an eyebrow to it. Um, you know, we'll get through. Like, this was just a really bad plan all along of let's not get sued. Let's just go down this road and hopefully nobody catches us. But along the way, it, it just it's like everybody's catching you. You're like bleeding out as you move. It, it definitely, unfortunately, looks like, you know, again, conjecture from yeah. our optics that they are praying that they find him guilty, mm-hmm. but regardless of whether he's guilty or not, yeah. because they are hosed if he's not. I mean, think about it. They are really setting themselves up for massive issues if he's acquitted. Well, they are, they're hosed either way, I think, because yeah, even if then he, the appeals process is he, he's yeah, I, I joke. Like he has like, it's the monopoly card, like get out of jail free or like get a new trial free at least card. And yep. if you have a different judge next time you have, I mean, there's so many things that, that could be looked at very differently that could go very much against uh Delphi. It'll take more time, but you know, it, anything is possible there. And I, I think they're just kind of, bracing for impact it's a matter of when the impact actually hits delphi though yeah totally agree want to listen ad free want advanced access to all of our interviews before anyone else become a true crime today premium plus subscriber on apple podcasts you get every episode commercial free so you can binge on true crime until you can binge no more search true crime today premium plus on apple podcasts now or go to our podcast page and sign up now more of the hidden killers podcast next